What is up guys? Welcome to Love Shack Entertainment and today we're going to be bringing another value box opening. So I had initially done one uh, a couple days ago and in that value box there was a six packs but the pack of Abyss Rising which was mainly like the one of the reasons I got the damn thing other than to do an opening was missing. So hopefully we'll rectify that situation this time around with the Abyss Rising pack actually being in here um, as soon as I figure out how to open the box. I don't know what the packaging is, uh, is so complex on these four but whatever. Um, so yeah, they come with sleeves, and I, I, I showed that in the last one too, but actually I actually have the other ones here. So there's, uh, one of them came with the pendulum sleeves. This one comes with the, uh, special anniversary sleeves or whatever, the Yugi Kaiba anniversary. Um, so, pretty cool. Um, and there's like, I think there's like 70 of them. Yeah, 70, so whatever. You, you, obviously. I think these sleeves look really nice, but they're really bad quality sleeves once you actually use them for anything other than, like, the extra deck. Um, comes with a Draco sack, which I showed you last time. Still pretty cool, though. Um, definitely one of the cooler giant card promos. Uh, I, I just really don't like the packaging on this, so. Alright, so this one looks to be right, uh, I think. Oh, unless, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, so this time, it's not. It's still two Primal Origin, but they did not give us a Numbers Hunters pack this time around, and you will not see any complaints from me about that. So, with that being said, this one is at least, uh, I got the Abyss Rising, uh, and there are no packs of Numbers Hunters, so it is a win-win. Let's go ahead and get started, though. Um, and as again, I'm looking to get Mermail stuff more than anything else, so Abyss Tius I still need, and um, Bahamut Shark and stuff, so... So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Spell Recycler, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, Hallier, Chickalots, Junk Blader, Archbeam Palabrinth is a rare, Star Seraph Scout, Reverse Glasses, The Calibrator, and Fishborg Archer. It's a first edition pack of uh, Judgment of the Light, which is interesting. I, I still, I think this is an official Konami product, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I do, I do think it is. So, I don't know, maybe they just use like whatever back stock packs they have left over. Um, I'm going to save Abyss. I'm going to also save that. So let's go Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Could we get a real Draco sack, possibly? In the last one, I got a pretty cool pull. Um, I don't know what we're going to expect here. Shark Kraken. Battle Inboxer Headgear. Legendary Atlantean Tridon. Not quite what I'm looking for. Battle Inboxer Sparrow. Brotherhood of the Firefist Buffalo. It's a rare. Uh, Fire Formation Kaido. Firefist Wolf. Burner. And Little Fairy. So no foils so far. Um, I would hope we could get at least one, but uh, we'll go... Primal Origin next. No Penguin. Starting this one off on a uh, very strong note. Uh, no Penguin. Battle Inboxer Big Bandage. Condemned Maiden. Hazy Flame Hydra. Ghost Trick So Cute Boss. Uh, Silvan Water Slide. ZW Slepnir Mail. Double Dragon Descent. And Artifact Beagle Tech. Still some really cool artifact cards out there that I'd love to get my hands on, like Sanctums and Ignitions and all that stuff. Obviously, they went up in value, so it's a little bit more difficult to get them. Uh, we're starting off with another No Penguin, so, alright. Uh, no Penguin, Artifact Achilles Shield, Last Counter, Evil Singularity, a Rare Artifact Caduceus, a Super Rare Escalation of the Monarch, so I guess it's not the worst. Um, I actually already have a Super Rare one, I don't play the deck, but... Uh, Battle and Boxer Veil, vale, Blizzard Thunderbird, Artifact Labras. Not the worst pull, and like I said, it is first ed, so at least there's that. Um, Primal Origin seems like pretty cool. Uh, it, it's kind of become a relatively decent set again, so. We'll save the Abyss Rising pack for last because there's the highest chance of it disappointing me uh, and not having what I need, but let's see what happens. Mermail Abyss Nose, Heraldic Beast Unicorn, Big Cattle Drive, Exceed Dimension Slash, ZW Tornado Bringer, uh, Abyss Scorn, is that one there? Uh, Garbage Ogre, uh, Arm Release, and Exceed Remora. So, uh, I need more than anything else uh, to get a Bahamut Shark, and I think that'll be about it as far as Abyss Rising goes. We've, we've gotten the majority of the other stuff, and once we get it all, I'm going to do a deck profile for Mermail, so pretty excited about that. But let's see if maybe luck will be on our side with this. Uh, Bull Blader, Stoic Apropsy, House Dust on, Mogmol, Metal Shea Messenger Lotto. Well, it is a super rare, but it's not a good one. Number eight, Heraldic King Genome Heritage, Fishborg Launcher Unification, and Heroic Challenger Night Watchman. So, um, I don't even want to sleeve it. I don't want to. I will sleeve the Messenger Lotto, though. More than anything else, just to prove a point, but. All right, so Messenger Gelato is pretty cool. So, I don't know. I'm kind of mixed on these because they're kind of neat, but, like, I don't really care for the Judgment of the Light or the Tachyon backs. I I'd almost rather it just be, like, three Primal Origin and then whatever the other ones are since that seems to be the, uh, 
the theme of the box. But either way, I mean, it's not the worst opening. It's just for $19.99, it can be a little bit pricey if you're not... If you're just buying it for the sake of, like, getting cards to add to your collection, uh, there's probably other uh, more viable alternatives. So, with that being said, though, thank you guys for checking out this video. As always, if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever floats your boat and whatever fancies your schmancy, please do so. And I will see you next time right here at Love Shack Entertainment.